Hey everybody, I'll see you experience back. Another mail day, another package from Japan. You know, this up for you guys. So I'll crack this package open and, and be right back. And so here we go. Um, I don't think it's as big of a haul as the last video, but I think I got a few good things in here. Um, don't remember exactly every package that I had shipped this time, but let's check it out. I know there's a couple of, couple of cards in here that I remember that I'm pretty excited about. Um, hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh, I probably should have brought scissors or something, but maybe I can pry this open with my fingers. Uh, a couple non-card kind of items in here. A couple books that I think are pretty cool. Um, fun to look at. is oh just a booster card i forgot about this one wing dragon guardian the fortress number two same as number one just red pretty nice uh, i won't spend too much time on that but that's going for the it's going into the booster binder it's coming together coming along i just ordered a bunch of more booster one stuff just this afternoon but I'll be getting probably a couple weeks from now by the time it gets here. But it's filling up fast. I'm getting through it faster than I expected. I don't remember which booster set this is from. Not one, I don't think. But I'm just jumping around just whenever I see one for a decent price. I'll grab it. Is. Oh yeah. Okay, so forbidden memories promos or sealed memories promos in the in the Japanese version. Uh, red eyes, black metal dragons. Two of them. So I kind of want to take these out and, and look at them closely. So maybe I'll do that for the camera. I'm gonna have to cut out for a second. Okay, I got those out. So let's take a look at number one. Uh, the description said they were pretty much mint condition. I mean, I always take that with a grain of salt because it's a very subjective phrase these days. Oh man, the sleeve is so tight. It's hard to... I hate those... I hate perfect fit sleeves, honestly. I'm more of a clean sleeve guy. Well, that's not mint, huh? I don't know if you guys can see that, it's uh, pretty much bent in half. Wait, is that? That's a, that's a crease, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, it's a crease right down the middle of it. Okay, O for 1. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother spending more time just looking at it, that's like... I mean, the rest of it is like... There's no scratches or like edge wear on it and stuff, but oh geez, that was some false advertising, huh? Things I've bought from this guy before, and he's usually pretty good with the condition, so I wasn't too worried buying from him. But I guess times have changed. What about this guy? Unless I mistranslated and he said, like, one is mint, one is terrible. Um, yeah, that's, kind of, that's dented in the middle, too. So that kind of sucks. Kind of let down. That's all right. Life goes on. I already have a couple of these, but I think I think one of them, one of them's grading right now. I don't think it's, like... PSA 10 good, but it might be like a 9 copy once it gets back, but I was hoping to get, you know, another solid one, but I guess that's not going to happen at this time. Oh well. Next thing, let's check it out. 
This is what? Oh yeah. So volume six, Thousand Dragon, Secret Rare. Another super tight sleeve. Sorry for the silence. I was, now, I'm, now I'm just paranoid <laughs> about the cards that I'm pulling out. I mean, this is a different seller, but still. I don't want to miss anything on it. But this looks pretty good. Like, I thought this was, was a den, but it's actually just the, the pattern in the background. Um, oh, this is actually pretty, pretty decent. It's got a little lip right there. It's okay. Pretty much what I expected. Oh, wait. I think I got a binder ding. Is that a binder ding? I think it might be. I don't know. It's either that or some, some kind of residue on it. Either way, this was going in my binder, so it would have been nice if it was like really, really mint, though, but that uh, kind of disqualifies it, you know? Still, like a very, still has a very nice eye appeal for a card, you know? I think I, yeah. I was like, you kind of see it from the light on the right side on the back here. Dang, we're like 0 for 3 today. On, on the mintness. Win some, you lose some. Um, I've, I've been experiencing more and more cases like this in the past, I don't know, few months where, you know, it's really, I mean, it's already kind of rare to come across a, a mint card from, from these older cards, but even now when they come up, it's like you get it and it's not really meant. And I don't, maybe the seller realizes it or they don't. Some really subtle damage, but um, there's been a lot of unsatisfactory cases like that. So I'm going to have to like pick and choose a lot more, uh, a lot more discretion moving forward, I think. Because before I, you know, I just buy like, a dozen cards at a time like a dozen foils of like this caliber i guess or these and and you know i'd be overall like pretty happy like oh, these are all near mint or or mint condition like i expected and then i would move on but it's becoming more and more rare all right well this next book is the valuable book number two uh this is still sealed i mean there's a little hole in the seal here but that's okay uh, this has a promo card inside. This isn't... So this is like a, a catalog of all the cards produced by Konami from, I think... Oh, it says right here, from, from Volume 5 to uh, Magic Ruler, I think. The, the 99, or the 2000 Japanese print of Magic Ruler. Uh, so the promo in here is Mass Delusionist, I think his name is. Uh, not a card I was interesting, interested in collecting, but I thought this book was really cool, so I, so I grabbed it. Um, not super expensive. But to move on that book a little bit more, I've also got this. Just hold on a second. So this is both valuable books, one and two. So one being from volume one to volume four, I guess. If that one starts at volume five. And then another copy of the volume two, but these are both unsealed because I just want copies of them that I could actually open and, and look at. 
So maybe we'll do that in this video to make up for the, the disappointment of my not so mint cards. Okay, so I got these open. Like I said, volume one and two of the valuable book catalogs. Um, I think they might still be making these even for, for the modern sets coming out. I know they at least made it through, I've seen like Arc V era valuable books. So there, there's almost 20 of them by now. Um, I'm not sure if we got as many uh, catalogs in the U.S. Of, of a similar fashion. I know, I know. I think like Prima used to make some for Konami back in the day, but I don't know if they they've kept up with that or if it's even uh, like a valuable thing for them to do. Um, but anyway, like I said, this one comes with. What's his name? Dark Eyes Illusionist. That's that's the promo for this one, as well as his as, his, uh, as a spell card and uh, Dokuba Rider, uh, the first series one ritual monster. Well, the first ritual monster ever, uh, as well as his ritual card. Um, so pretty cool promos inside, but the books themselves are, are something I think collectors should be interested in. Oh yeah, this one has a poster still intact. That's pretty cool. See that? I'll just keep that in though. So like I said, this first one goes from volume one to volume four. And this one accounts for volume five through uh, the first Magic Ruler set. But if you look inside, let's just go page by page. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing obviously, but. Okay, so this starts off with starter box actually. You get all these really nice high-res scans of all the cards from the sets listed in here. I'm not sure sure if this is supposed to be a price guide, if they have actual prices or, or what, or if it's just like stats and um, and images and stuff. But you also, you know, it features some nice, really old school manga art. It gives you all like a taste of all all of the series one cards you want to look at, and, and some of the series two. Once you get to the to the second volume pack artwork so if you feel like thumbing through some artwork with some really high quality images and you might not have the cards you don't feel like buying the cards you don't feel like fishing them out of a, a shoe box or wherever you have them you know um, this is something really nice to have on hand so it doesn't only have the, the booster sets and, and the volume sets but I think it also includes all the promo cards, including uh, like tournament, tournament promos and tournament prize cards, which is pretty cool. So, so back in the day, probably before you had images of everything, everyone on the internet, you would probably be flipping through a book like this in order to get a look at some of the rare stuff. Let's see if we can find something cool. Like right here, uh, theatrical release starter box, uh, limited cards. What else? We've got the original DDS promos. Really awesome stuff in here. I can't read Japanese, but it'd be nice. Yeah, Tokyo Dome invitation cards, first tournament prize cards, the legendary uh, single copy, stainless steel, BLS, Tokyo Dome prizes. You know, just a really nice, a lot of nice stuff in here. You know, just great artwork all over the place as well. So, like I said, really nice thing to have on hand as a collector, and it's really not going to break the bank. It allows you to appreciate some of some high-res scans of the cards you might like and might not have. It's like these were just like ten bucks each, you know, and they're not hard to find. Uh, the second catalog, this one also has a poster. Uh, like I said, I don't think the promos are in, are included in here. I think it would be in the back of the book. I'm pretty sure they're already opened up, which is why it was so cheap. I wouldn't expect them to be in here. So I set the poster, some nice manga artwork. Starting off with, not sure what set that is, but some, it's a series two air set. Um, okay, I think it officially starts here. So this starts with, like I said, volume five, I 
think. Yep. You can tell by that scan a fake trap. So yeah, just like I said, pre pretty straightforward. I mean, these days you can find a high-res image of anything you want on the internet, or you can you can build your checklists online. But I'm sure this is something nice for if you want to keep track of the cards you're collecting and how your your sets are coming along. This would be one way to do it. it you know, it's it's kind of nice to just have something physical in hand as well, rather than like a Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, I think. Just a lot of soul in this kind of stuff, you know? Something only like a collector would really appreciate. Um, so, kind of nice to have these. Okay, so a bonus round that wasn't included in that package is I did get a single card returned from PSA just yesterday. SDY Dark Magician. First, uh, not OCG, but... <laughs> so, it's kind of outside the scope of this channel, I guess, but I'm just including it you know something pretty satisfied with i was expecting it um i think top to bottom centering was what killed it because this was i mean it looked like straight from the deck I didn't, I didn't pull it from the deck i don't know if if the person i bought it from did but i mean it was pretty mint so good grade there i also have another return that i just got the grades for today uh, I kind of got brutalized on a couple cards, so we'll be able to dissect that once I get it back. I also got a couple good ones too. Most of them made sense to me, but there were some that seemed like curveballs, so we can break that down probably sometime next week. I'll have a video up about it. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, lessons learned. Sometimes you're gonna get burned on condition. That's something I've faced over and over. I'm sure anyone who's collected for years is already faced with. You can't really let it, you know, get you down that much because it's it's gonna happen. It's inevitable. It's the name of the game. That's why PSA 9, PSA 10 cards are, are so expensive. It doesn't seem so ridiculous after you buy multiple high value items and, and don't get what you expect or you send them to, to PSA and you don't get the grade that you expect, you know? So you have to take the good with the bad. Um, and on that note, I guess I'll end this video. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.